champ, Kyle Berwick. Uh, what did it feel like, uh, the standing ovation with Hedinger? Yeah. Uh, what did it feel like winning another state title? Um, you know, this is this is just as, you know, I've, I've said it probably a million times to myself, you know, this is just as, as awesome as when I won when, an eight, when I was an eighth grader. Um, I, I went into the year and, and every single year prior to, to win a state championship, that year I was wrestling and I didn't really care what I'd, what I'd done the, the years past and, and uh, I keep on coming back to that saying, you know, yesterday's, last year's matches aren't going to win today's. So um, to, to, to get a standing ovation and wave my crowd, point up that W, you know, we're going to wrestle for Wisconsin, that, that, that means everything, you know. Uh, the good Lord keeping you know keeping me safe and healthy all these years, and, and my family being there with me, and taking me all over the country and East Coast, West Coast, you name it. I've been wrestling, and, and uh, 12 months out of the year I wrestle, and I make sure that I'm on the mat and I'm, I'm getting better and and uh, focusing on my goals. So it means a lot. That's awesome, man. Uh, you know, as you said, you're an eighth grade state champ. You know, there, there's been quite a few of those in Class B history. Oh yeah. But how did you get? to where you are today. How did you, how did you make those gains? Um, honestly, it, it's it, it's all about experience, wrestling matches, wrestling. Um, here in North Dakota, this is advice for any young kid, any any high school age kid right now, you got, you, you guys still have years um, to wrestle in this state. Wrestle in the summer, wrestle in the spring, get as many matches as you can, go to as many camps as you can, wrestle for our uh, our freestyle and Greco national teams. That That is what that, you're gonna get national exposure. You're gonna see kids that you'll never ever see again in your life. Um, so really, it just—I uh, know we're kind of running out of time here. I gotta get going, but um, that—that's that's really what it takes. You gotta put in the time when nobody else is willing to do it. Awesome. One last question. You know, if we look back 25 years, what are you hoping people are saying about you? I'm hoping people are gonna say I was a good person. I could care less about five state championships, one state championship. I want them to remember that I was. I was a good person. I I, I upheld the most, uh, the highest level of character. I was respectful. Um, I was worthy. You know, I was a good opponent. I had good sportsmanship. I respected everybody, um, and, and I gave back to the to the state of North Dakota, which I'm never going to stop doing. Um, you know, maybe one day I come back here and I coach, and I coach for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, and uh, I want them to to remember me as a good person. Awesome. Thanks. Congrats, champ. Thanks.